Welcome to Keto on the Couch with Rachel and Joe. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are two, two crazy, crazy ketos. ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome to the more than 700 new subscribers since the last Keto on the Couch. Now here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find and all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So it still is like blowing my mind that you're saying like we have 700 new subscribers since last week. Because I remember we used to say like, welcome to the 20 new subscribers. It's it never gets old. No. Nope. It's super exciting. But yeah, like you guys are awesome. Yeah, and we actually want to say a special thank you to Christy Davis, who shouted us out in her video. And it's funny because watching her video, she's like, oh, I didn't, I don't even think they know who I am. And we've been like watching her videos. Heck yeah. And we were watching them before that because like she's awesome because she talks about on her channel what we're always talking about, which is like keto for the family. Yeah, it's hard to try to cook a million different meals, yep. right? So her daughter, who is a senior in high school, is the one that really brought like a keto way of eating into their family. Yeah. And so she's even using, you know, keto friendly foods with her 10 year old daughter. Yeah. And it's exciting to see what kind of lunch do you pack if you're trying to reduce the amount of sugar a kid's eating and reduce the amount of carbs a kid's eating. Right. And she's come up with some really fun lunches that are super cute and tradable. Yep. Right? Because that's the goal. Got to be tradable. Got to be tradable. When you're in elementary school, got to be tradable. And I got to say, I grew up with like uh, tepid milk in a in a, in a a thermos and an olive loaf sandwich. Sorry, mom. We but, had bologna and liverwurst. Oh my gosh. Like my lunch may have had like normal bread in it, but it was not tradable. We didn't get normal bread. I, I really wanted Wonder Bread. We never got Wonder Bread. Oh yeah, no, we didn't. Of course, it. now we've learned like Wonder Bread is actually was the downfall of our current diet, right? The one that started adding all of the vitamins and stuff into our foods. It's like crazy. But you, you definitely, if you haven't already, and you probably are already subscribed to her channel, Check Go out check Christy out her channel. Davis. I'll leave a link right over Rachel's head because here's the thing. What she does on her channel is everything we keep saying we're going to do, but yeah. we never actually get to doing. Like, what are good things for school lunch? What are good things for like to eat for the family? Because that's our whole thing has always been like, keto shouldn't just be for you to lose weight. Keto should be for you to maintain good health, which means it shouldn't just be for you, it shouldn't just be for me, but it should be for the entire family. I think that no matter what kind of like diet, and that's basically just your eating plan, yep. whatever you're eating, if you're eating all meat, if you're eating all sugar, that's your diet. That's yep. what you consume as food, right? Like sometimes there's a stigma that goes with diet, that word diet. Like, it's because it's not a diet, it's a lifestyle. That's why even like this past week, we went back to high school football ball yeah and so like some coaches who haven't seen me in a couple of years because every year you get different games uh, were, were seeing me and haven't seen me since like I lost all the weight and they're mm -hmm. like oh what do you do I never tell somebody I went on the keto diet my yeah. answer is always I switched over to a ketogenic lifestyle those are the exact yeah. words when people say like how did you lose the weight and I'm like I switched over to a ketogenic lifestyle two and a half years ago. Yeah, because the word diet really does have like a super stigma, but here's the fact. Whatever food I feed Tabitha, that's her diet. Yeah. Right? It's like weird, right? I don't understand why it's it's so negative in connotation when you say, well, well, well if you have a child that's on a ketogenic diet, you're like, diet? That's like the only word that they hear. Yeah. But I think that no matter what you're trying to feed your family, I think we can all agree that less sugar and less processed food is a good thing. That's right. Whether you're eating like high fat or low fat. Yeah. Right? I love Christy's channel and I love the school lunches that she has packed. And I was a little bit sad though, as I was watching one of her videos this week because it was packing a school lunch and I realized I'm no longer packing a school lunch. Yeah, no school lunches this year. Because our baby, the baby of the family, graduated from high school last year and is starting college tomorrow. Actually, when you guys are watching right. this video on Monday. So it's so crazy to think that we no longer have 
kids that are going back to school. Yeah, so, so this week was back to school week, which, like, I it's nice for parents because they're like, yes, kids are out of the house, right? As somebody who spends a lot of time on the road, I hate this time of the year because it means school zones. Wow, yes. And the police officers were in full force. I thought, my goodness, why do I keep seeing like so many police officers out? Well, yeah. They are reminding you that it's a 15 mile per hour zone. And like even when I have to go in the morning to get my trailer, like I have to drive through three different school zones and my trailer is only like three miles away from our house. Mm-hmm. Not even them. I think it's like two miles away from here, but I got to go through three different school zones. So I can't stand school zones. But Wednesday, which was the first day of school, mm-hmm. Rachel took the kids to youth group. And I stayed home and I was like working on some recipes in the house because in the midst of this entire like chaffle craze that's going on right now, I was like, it started off as I was making a keto chow chaffle. Ended up being a keto chow sweet waffle. With, so I was like trying different things and it went from being like a little four inch one to like being like a Belgian waffle or three little ones. But as I'm doing it, I was like, oh, I really want to get another one of those waffle makers, like the little mini ones. And do you know that they're like completely sold out on Amazon? It is a hit. I don't know if they are when you guys are watching this video, but I had checked like last Wednesday and was like two weeks, like on back order for two weeks on every site that was selling them. I mean, that's how quickly they sold. And I keep seeing the price go up. When we bought ours, it was $7.99. When I checked last week, it was $14. It's like double. Yeah, so anyway, Walmart was supposed to sell them. So I had gone to Walmart on Wednesday while you were gone. And then I walked in, I got what I wanted. I turned around and I'm like, ooh, this was a mistake. Because it was back to school day. Oh, so every all the parents are getting like the list. Yes, so the line was like ridiculously long because everybody, of course, waited till the first day of school to go get their school supplies. Well, hey, I got news for you. A lot of times, because I was the one that always had to do the back to school list, they would have the list, but then the teacher, once you got to school, would usually add, add on. on. It was interesting since we didn't have a kid that was going back to regular public school this year. Um, I don't have like the carpal tunnel that moms get from filling out and dads from filling out oh the my gosh. insurance Filling papers. out all those forms times three. Oh my it Lord. It was worse than getting a mortgage on a house. So my wrist is feeling good. However, my arms feel like jello jigglers. That's right. Rachel started working with the resistance bands this week. You have that band over here? I do. So... We've talked about this before. We got these bands. They were recommended to us by Keto Savage. They look Robert so tiny, Sykes. spaghetti-like. Like, I, I'll, I'll, I gotta, we gotta talk about this. So when we, if you guys remember a couple weeks ago on Keto on the Couch, tough. we got the. I showed these bands, and I pulled out. This is the smallest one. This is the extra. I think it's an extra light version, and this is from Under Sun Fitness. Again, we're not affiliates with them, but it's what we, like Keto Savage recommended. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is the extra light. And if you remember, Rachel's like, what is that thing going to do? How is that even going to work me out? Now, just to give you an idea, here's my iPhone. It's in a, um, what is this, a life-proof case, right? This band is thinner than my my phone case. Does not seem like a formidable opponent. Yeah. It kicked my butt! (laughs) This thing kicked my butt! It was crazy! I could barely lift my arms. Now, we have two programs. So when, when we got the bands, the bands... If I remember right, are like eighty dollars for the whole set of bands, and it's cheaper than buying. You can buy them individually on Amazon, but you might as well just buy the whole set because you're going to work your way up. Am I though? <laughs> but you also have two different programs, and so <clears throat> you know Keto Savage had recommended I get one of the programs. So we actually got them both because they were pretty cheap. Um, but one of them is like weightlifting if you want to build muscle, and the other one is like muscle like toning and weight loss. And it's like a hit program, right? So it's like, you know, so you were doing the arm one, right? And it was like 60 seconds of bicep curls. What could 60 30 seconds second do? 30 seconds of rest. 60 seconds of tricep extension, 30 second rest. And it was like, what, push-ups and what, burpees and stuff like that? Yeah. Rachel called me after like 20 minutes and was like... Crying. I can't move my arms. I, I don't... I thought to myself, because they were like... 
okay, practice doing it Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And I was like, Monday, Wednesday, Friday? Why would I need a rest day with these little, little rinky dink rubber bands? I was like begging for a rest day. Like I literally could not even move my, I mean, it hurts right now. It really and actually this was hurts. What, that was like, what, three days ago, right? It was like Thursday. It was, no, it was Friday. Was it Friday? And it is Sunday. So it is, but I was very thankful for the day off yesterday. So now I have to get back to it, but I'm like, no, I don't want to. But it shows you, like, I mean, the resistance bands, I mean, even this little thin band really can make a difference. I think it's worth a shot. I mean, at least I can be home in doing it. Mm -hmm. And yet you have, like, this instructor that's showing you the right way to hold it. So you're making sure that you're working the muscles out properly. For the cost of, or less than the cost of one month of CrossFit, you're getting all of the weights and bands and everything you need, and you're getting somebody who's walking you through each one. Maybe he's not there in person with you, but it's still telling you what exercise to do. And I think that's the most difficult part about working out is like learning, like what exercise do I do to get to like the results I want or like to work which muscle I want or something like that. So I said I was gonna do this and this way you guys can watch and see, do you see any results? Right. You know, do you, I mean, right now I wanna cry, but like I'm gonna do this Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, a part of my exercise routine, I'm gonna stick with it and let's see, do I get any muscle definition, any toning going on in my arms because I definitely have the arms of someone who has lost 100 pounds. Like there's a lot of just absolutely loose skin. Right. And can we see some elasticity return and some muscle definition um, without surgery? Right. Is my goal. And there's different exercises for different days. And at some point we'll film like us trying them and doing them, but not yeah. yet. Right now I look really crazy and sad and I don't want anybody cackling at me, laughing. <laughs> Next week, we have a big uh, fancy soiree that we're doing with church for yep. volunteer appreciation. Well, that's tomorrow. Our coasties. Oh, yeah, it's tomorrow. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I better go shave my legs. Well, we, we, the, well, we went, went the other day for our vlog, and we got your dress, and we'll put that picture on Instagram tomorrow, and then we'll put a picture up on next week's Keto on the Couch because Rachel doesn't want to spoil the supplies because some of the people who actually like are going to be at the Coasties are watching this, and we don't want you guys to see the dress the day before the Coasties. Yeah, of course not. So, we got to save it. Yeah. And then um, also I'm looking forward to, uh, we're doing a volunteer appreciation on Friday night, which is like a, uh, a for just for Coastal Kids. Just for the kids ministry. Um, a I'm midway sad games. I have to miss that because I have a high school football game. I know, but we're doing like a midway mania. So we're doing like midway games. Yep. So you know how you have to put like the ping pong ball in the fish bowl. And we're doing like, um, we have to like kind of a pin the tail on the donkey type of thing. We're doing a potato sack races. I'm I mean, all just all kinds of fun stuff. Mm -hmm. Just kind of like team build. So let's talk about our food for this week. So obviously in the midst of the big chaffle craze, we were experimenting with like different ingredients, like what cheeses can you use? And what if you put this spice? And what if you add flour? So there were a lot of chaffles in our diet this but week. But it didn't make me feel sad because I felt like I got more food even though there was only one egg. Yeah, it's amazing. Like, I mean, mix. person, I forget the name of the person who actually created, I'll, again, I'll put a link to their Instagram down below, but like brilliant because basically all it is is a scrambled egg or an omelet with cheese in it poured into a waffle maker and there's something about putting it in that waffle maker where you've got the heat on the bottom and the heat on the top and it, it makes expands. it super fluffy and then crisps it. It's kind of fun to watch when you put a little bit too much in and you close it up and then you see the waffle maker going bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, right? Seriously. And if you, if you have the patience to not open it, it'll stay that big. Yeah. But of course, if you're like me, like, is it crispy enough? And you lift it up for just a second, it goes like flat like a pancake yeah, being in. it does. But it's kind of like what I do. Like, you know, you when you were cooking for yourself, you're like, my eggs are fluffier than yours. And I'm like, well, because I was making them for you, I always thought you just wanted them fried because you like the way I fry an egg where it comes out perfect white, yeah. right? 
But what you were doing is how I would always cook scrambled eggs for Caleb, which Blend is if first. you want an omelet, like Caleb doesn't want an omelet. He wants it scrambled. It wasn't the blending it up, but if you if you do your egg and then you put it in a frying pan and if you want just like a French kind of omelet and then you put a cover on it, that heat just lets it get fluffier and fluffier and fluffier as opposed to if you have no heat on the top it doesn't have that same effect. And that's what the waffle maker is doing. You just have to have the patience to leave it alone. Right. You want to flip it. Right. You want to flip it like 50 times. Or you want to scramble it. You want to keep touching it with your spatula. Don't do that. Just right. leave it alone. It's hard, but just leave it alone. But that's what the waffle maker is doing. So you're get, taking one egg and a quarter to a half a cup of cheese, and you're getting two of those chaffles it just, for low calories. Yeah. So, yeah, so, but now that wasn't what we were eating as the meal. That was like the side dish to the meal. Yeah. And it was enjoyable because like we were, had, we had brisket, we had leftover brisket from la from the other day. So we were making like brisket sandwiches. Hello. So it's like a brisket between an egg and cheese. Yeah. Couldn't was, get better. And then we would have delicious. broccoli or what else we were doing. We did more ground beef, but then like. As a sandwich. But if you're you're like, hey, I need another tablespoon of butter somewhere in my diet in order for you to like, you know, raise the fat level of what you're eating, man, nothing is like putting butter in those little grooves of the waffle, right? Like yep. it just is Or awesome. the Lakanto maple syrup. Hello. Even though it was egg, I mean, personally, I don't know about you guys, you, have you ever had maple syrup on scrambled eggs like we used to go to mcdonald's right get the mcdonald's deluxe breakfast where it came with the pancakes and the eggs yeah. and i would take that pancake syrup i didn't put it on the pancakes i poured it across the eggs the scrambled yeah. eggs delicious it's awesome so yeah so the truffles had been fun this week and i know we're jumping on the bandwagon and everybody else but we were having other food too so i because caleb's going back to school and it's football season it's been interesting because like we're like we have to get back into doing some meal prep because right now everybody's running a different schedule yeah everybody is on a different schedule and you just want to make something that's like a grab and go so that people aren't like we're not having like uber eats dropping off three times a day or we're not having to run into Publix. You just want to have this stuff ready to go. Because right. a lot of times too, when we're done with our day, when Caleb gets home from college or you guys get home from work, you're just ready to eat. I don't yeah. want to have to think about it and I don't want to have some long cooking process to Because do. one of the things that was nice that happened this week is I got to go back to cooking for Rachel. Yay! So, and not that Rachel can't cook or she didn't want to. It's just what I enjoy doing. It's like, what I it's how I get to take care of her. So he drew me in with briskets <laughs> and chaffles. chaffles and air fried broccoli. Yeah, because we got the air fryer, so that's been awesome. But what ended up happening was we we're like, you know, because now football season has started, like we really have different schedules. So I'm cooking like one meal, and then Rachel's cooking another one of her meals, and we're doing some keto chow. And, you know, we were like, I have to get some meal prepping in just to make sure that if I'm gone and Rachel's home and it's time for her to eat because we are, even though we're eating the same food, we're on very different eating schedules. Very much so. Because I don't want to eat at four o'clock before a football game. And I want to be done eating for the day by six o'clock. Right. And I'm leaving for my football game by five o'clock. So like... Pretty much, she's when she wants to eat, I can't eat. Yeah. So I'm trying to have foods that like she can heat up and I can heat up. So one of the things I came up with was I had this chicken breast that was just that I had defrosted, and I threw it in the instant pot. I was like, what can I do with this? I threw it in the instant pot with like a half a jar of rouse and cream cheese and some garlic. I don't even remember what else I added in there. So easy. A little so bit of simple. oregano came out and so good it came out like a chicken and then i shredded it after it was cooked um and it was like a chicken cutlet parmesan like shredded and then the kids can now just spoon some into a plate put a little bit of mozzarella cheese on top maybe a little bit more sauce for themselves and then heat it up in the microwave so easy or put it over a chaffle <laughs> yeah we did we did eat it over chaffles so yeah so that was like pretty much our food this week the brisket the ground beef lots of chaffles experimenting on like other recipes that we're working on mm -hmm. and we had some keto chow.
It was nice. And I love having the convenience of keto chow because yep. it will last for a couple of days. Yeah. It's just nice to know you can put it in there. If you need it, grab it. Right. If you don't need to eat it today, don't worry. It'll keep. Right. Which is so, nice. Because uh, for me, I'll have like three or four days where I have a keto chow every day. Just one a day. And then I'll have like a bunch of days where I'm not. But it's just nice knowing that if I make, especially because you're making it with butter, I can put it in there. It's good. It's good for a week. It's good, you know. And so I can just grab it if I need it. If I come home and I'm like, what am I going to eat for dinner? Instead of binging on something, I yeah. can grab that. Yeah, you know? but it's very if filling. I am home. I don't need that. You know, I so. like it. Uh, anything else happened this week? No, but we should check in on our subscriber of the week. Do okay. we have yep. one for today? Yeah, let's do that. We have a subscriber of the week, and then we'll do our comments. Okay. So our subscriber of the week is going to be Barbara Glessner. Hi, Barbara. And I'll put her pictures up here. And she's like, thank you for the ad. i am gone from 325 pounds to 212 pounds. Wow, that's awesome. I started April 2017, and I had a stroke on my 58th birthday. Oh, my gracious. I turned 60 this year, and I feel better than I ever I, than I ha ever have. Keto saved my life. Oh, wow. And so there you go. Oh, my goodness. Wow. You look incredible. Yeah. Oh, my gracious. Okay, so you ready? Yes. Okay, so comments. So Kathy Houston wrote. Hi, Kathy. I've missed you two. I kept thinking I wasn't getting notifications or maybe something happened. Good to see you back. Could have watched the vlog now. So that Thanks, was on Kathy. last Monday's Keto on the Couch because we didn't upload on Saturday or Sunday. Sorry about and that. And we are sorry about that. But again, like high school football started last week. So we're trying to figure out our schedule right now because we've always filmed or we've tried to always film keto on the couch on friday nights and that's just not possible right now not with because high school football is on friday nights mm -hmm. for the most part and then saturday i will be gone every saturday morning so like you know either i'm working from 7 a.m until 3 30 p.m or i'm working from 3 p.m until 10 or 11 p.m so like we're not gonna be able to film on saturday and we're still trying to figure out, like, do we want to do it on Thursdays or we do we want to do it on Sundays when we get home from church? Because it's still, I mean, like, I'm still, like, amped and ready to go, you know, after church. I'm still, like, you know, it should just totally drain you, but I actually get really excited yeah. after church. So it's, like, 4.30 right now on Sunday afternoon, and I've been going since... 3 a.m. this morning. But Keto on the Couch does take at least an hour to film. And also Sundays is right now our only day together. Yay. So we're still working on that. We may be shifting it this week to filming Keto on the Couch on Thursday. But yeah, so if we have some weeks over the next few weeks where we only get four videos up, we are sorry. I am so sorry. We're trying to film ahead to make sure we can. But we just we had a bunch of things happen last week. We're like, oh my gosh, we didn't get a chance to film a video because... So many things going on. It was a busy week with work, and I had a bunch of football games in one week. And we started a new series in kids. And we started a new series in kids. So A Dr. Seuss-themed yep. series. But it was really cool when I read this message, because I was like, oh, they miss us. Like, they, like we only didn't, it's only been two days. That, but... that made us feel so special, so thank you, Kathy. So, Sherry Long wrote, Hey, Sherry. I'm with Joe on shopping. I have a plan and a purpose when I go, and it drives me nuts when people stand with their carts in the middle of the aisle blocking your path. <laughs> I actually wore my Y'all Need Jesus shirt the last time I went shopping so that I would be nicer. It worked, but boy, was it hard. Thanks for sharing your day. And I can't wait to see Rachel's dress. Oh, thanks, Sherry. Yeah, I think you need the Y'all Need Jesus shirt. I get so frustrated when I go to the mall because I'm like, I'm walking through the mall and nothing, the only thing that annoys me more than the people who stop to just like not do anything or talk on their phone in the middle of the aisle is when you have a family of like, four or five people wide and they're like walking at a snail's pace and I'm like trying to get around them and stuff like that. That just, I just move to the side, one side or the other. I think you need Jesus. Maybe. Maybe I that's have the Jesus. issue. Maybe that's the issue. So Lisa Desi wrote, Hi Lisa. I used to walk that huge mall before it would open, the Sawgrass Mills Mall, oh, when wow. my son was a baby 24 years ago. It was fairly new back then, and I didn't live far from it at the time. And yes, it is a big attraction. Right from the beginning of it being created, it was like designed to be an attraction. Right. 
Yeah. I remember one of the cool things about the whole design of it was when you looked at it from the air, it looked like it was the shape of an alligator. I forgot But that. it's not anymore because Lisa, it's been a while since you've been there. It's like twice the size that it used to be. They keep adding on it and adding on it and adding on the it. The shape has to be like a giant and No, blob. I don't think it any longer looks like an alligator. No. Oz H wrote, can hey, you Oz. do a video on how to make the tallow? Please and thank you. Oh, yeah. I actually started doing that once and... It is such a long process. Um, I think the easier way to do it would probably to do like pictures of a vlog. Okay. Because basically all you're going to do is you're going to take, literally you're going to take the fat, kind of chop it up in a food processor or in a blender, and then just put it in a pot and simmer it. And then every hour or so go out and stir it, you know, for the first couple hours and just let it keep going and keep going and keep going. But it literally is like a 10 to 12 hour process. But it's totally worth it. Yeah. And it tastes so good when yep. it's done. It's so clean. You're thinking, boy, this is going to have a real strong beef flavor, but it doesn't. Yeah. So, but I will, I'll see if we can do the video the next time we do it. It's, I have to wait until I have, obviously I have some more beef fat. Yeah. You know, but it may be easier to just try and snap pictures, which I, again, did at one point And then I'm like, it, it. It doesn't look appetizing as it's happening. So I was like, yeah, no, because it, it doesn't look appetizing as it's like breaking down. Well, we won't worry about that. We'll just do it as like an instructional. Yeah. He also wrote, Wentworth is so good. I watch it on a tablet or a laptop with headphones to not wake my house. I've added Yellowstone to my watch. Oh. Where have I been? I never knew about the Paramount Channel. I can't wait to see your dress, Rachel. Thank you, Oz. Uh, this is a beautiful. That is a beautiful pot, when, but it's way too much money for me. One day, that's the Le Creuset pot, and uh, yes, they are expensive. But I look at it; it's like a lifetime warranty. And our thing is this: we do not go out to eat. Right? right. That that was always our thing that we were going to invest our money in cookware because we don't go out to eat. Because honestly, if you took all of our cookware we have and all of our appliances, it's probably still only maybe like 20 trips out to eat. Yeah. So we're like, if we're not going to go out to eat, why not invest in good quality cookware that'll last us a lifetime? And if it happens to be pink. Right. <laughs> but I know my mom still has like a Le Creuset pot from when she got married. Like that's how well they're made. They just last and last and last and the last. The earth was still cooling. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but yeah. Oh, so Wentworth. Great show. Yeah. So I have watched the entire series. Um, Anthony actually got me into it a couple of years ago. And I binge watched it. And then obviously then you watch it. And I just finished the newest season. But and you have to go back. I decided, I don't know, I was watching the new season. I'm like, I want to rewatch this to kind of refresh my memory. And Rachel had watched a couple of episodes here and there with me. But before. I missed a lot. She missed a lot. So I I even, pulled a Rachel. I, <laughs> you know how that is. I got, I started watching it. And then, of course, I got to the second season. And then she's like, oh, wait, I want to watch this. But, of course, I'm watching at night when she's sleeping. So now I have to rewatch each episode the next day because now she's really into it. I got two words. The governor. She's scary. Yeah, but it is just such a well-written show. And even though it's a women's prison drama, it's not Orange and the New Black. You don't have, no. like, all of the... You have hints to stuff it's and an occasional hint of nudity, but nothing it's not as like... explicit. No, nowhere near... It's more about the storyline and the drama, and, and it's just, like, such a well-written show. It's still so not good. something I would watch with kids. No, it's not a kid's thing. There's no. some def there's language in there, and it's a prison drama. I mean, yeah. what do you expect? I but probably wouldn't watch Law & Order with little kids either. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, it's just such a good show. I really love that show. Um, Sylvia wrote... Hey, Sylvia! Yellowstone is amazing. I love the scenery. The cattle ranch, the wilderness, definitely keep watching. Yeah, we watched that one episode, and then Rachel started watching Wentworth with me. Mm -hmm. So as soon as we finish... All the way through season seven of Wentworth for Rachel to catch up. Then we're going to go to Yellowstone. It's amazing to see Kevin, or Kevin Costner aging. Yeah. Right? Because he was like the heartthrob of like my younger years. And so, I mean, he hasn't changed like terribly. No. I think he's held up pretty good, you know. Going back to like Dances with Wolves days. I mean, yeah. he doesn't look much different. That was a long time ago. It's not like Robert Redford. God help that poor man. Like, he, isn't there like a Robert Redford 
screen like that I mean it's like I watch a movie with him in it now and I lo I love Robert Redford I think he's an incredible actor but it's almost like they have to like blaze up the 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 film because I don't know his his skin hasn't aged that well sorry Robert Redford uh Jennifer wrote Yellowstone hey, is great keep watching it all right we'll do so Jen Pyle wrote, Hey Jen. OMG, I love Wentworth. Been watching it for years. I love the B character. I love Boomer. Yeah. She's so sweet. <laughs> I love her so much. It's just a great show. I mean, and it's just, it's kind of cool because, you know, it's coming from Australia. So you have to wait for it to finish airing or, on Australia before we get to watch it. Uh -huh. But I just love it. And they're not all like good people necessarily but you find yourself rooting for the bad guy like right. i mean you're rooting for well you don't root for the governor that's no for sure. no she's the ultimate bad guy uh christina wrote hey christina i tried your lasagna for the first time yesterday amazing oh good now, that was not our our idea somebody else came up with that idea we just kind of changed it and she said yes it's a genius to mo use pepperoni as a layer instead of two layers of sliced turkey it added more flavor even my non-keto niece loved it I am so glad to hear that. Like we have um, been bringing that to different like functions that we go to. And if we, you know, like bring somebody food, like, you know, and, and they haven't noticed. Most just people don't tell have them. no idea that there's no noodles in it. Yeah. Just it's, don't tell them. Yeah. Shh, it'll be our secret. So Jennifer Williams wrote. Hey Jennifer. I've been told by multiple grandparents that they tend to love their grandchildren more than they love their own when they were small because they are more relaxed and can enjoy the interaction that they have with their grandkids. Honestly, I can see that that would be a thing. You know, you're you're so stressed out when you're a young parent and your kids are little and you're just trying to kind of like blend the new family relationships together and try to make ends meet. When you're retired, I feel like you have a little bit more like disposable income that you can enjoy and definitely time. My for mom's me, retired. Think, for me, I think that it's more about, you know, you get to send them home at the end of the day or at the end of the weekend, right? So you can spoil them rotten and not have to deal with any of the consequences. Yeah. And I look forward to doing that. Yeah. If you, you're putting them to bed or you're taking them for even an extended period of time, you know that there's an end date to this. There's something about knowing like there's an end date to this. I'm not going to have this child for 18 years solid. Right. right? Yeah. So 10 Carb Kim wrote. Hey, 10 Carb Kim. I tell those pushy people that I'm allergic to carbs. She's talking about the people who are always like, hey, you want to oh, have yeah. just one? I tell them the same thing. Absolutely. She said, that sugar and starch makes me very sick. This is the absolute truth. Before keto, I injected insulin every day. Most people can easily understand that you don't purposely eat peanuts and then use an EpiPen if you're allergic. Absolutely. Isn't that funny? Yeah. If someone said, like, I'm allergic to peanuts, they wouldn't be like, well, just try a little. Right. Like, just how shoot much yourself is a with little? an EpiPen. Yeah, exactly. Like, or people who are allergic to eggs or shellfish or any of those kind of things. Someone says they're allergic or they can't have it. You just, you say, okay. And you walk away from that discussion. And that's what, even when I go to a restaurant, if we go to a restaurant, which is very rare, like I have no problem like saying to the waitress, like what's in this? Like understand that like I, sugar is deadly to me, right? Like I cannot have sugar. So if there's sugar in here, I need to know. Like yeah. have no, don't be afraid to tell people because you know what? To us, it's a poison. Like yeah. if you're putting sugar in here, if you're put, putting a bunch of garbage, if, if you're putting canola oil, I want to know because it's a toxin to me. Well, and I want to know, am I going to be achy tomorrow? Right. And then be able to like pinpoint where that achiness is from. Now, I mean, we don't always like avoid all canola in our no. life. You know, just, it's just my point. But I just want to know it's there. Right. You know, and, and then you can make a decision. Do you want to deal with the consequences from that? Exactly. Uh, Kim wrote, Hey Kim. I love liverwurst on pork rinds. That sounds awesome. I almost bought some liverwurst the other day, but it had like dextrose in it. I'm going to have to order some from US Wellness. I thought you were going to say I almost bought some uh, pork rinds. That, go for it. I have bags of that. She said, Sometimes I add a few green olives. Oh, now you've lost me, Kim. And, and a we're little back. cheese on sour cream to make it into a meal. I don't like olives. I like olives. I know. You've perked my interest. Joy Stevens wrote, Hey, Joy. I started ancestral brand desecrated beef organ supplements because I just can't eat them. Oh, so okay. So I've thought about that instead of doing organ meats, but I like liverwurst. 
but instead of doing organ meats, getting the pills. Like you can get meats, you can get like organ meat supplements where it's just a pill and you take the pill and you get all the benefits. But you gotta find good ones. She put the joy, 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 joy back in my week. Vivid J wrote. Hey, Vivid J. What's worse than liver? Liver worst. It's the worst. Anything that's got worst in it. Kathleen wrote. Hey, Kathleen. Uh, carb manager is straightforward and simple. I can't even finish filling out the other trackers. <laughs> I, I'm totally like with you. I mean, it's it's challenging. Carb but- manager is a little bit easier than you know, like um, chronometer. Part of getting getting the privilege of like cooking my meals is he's got to do any of the carb, the tracking. And we are going to work on that video probably this week, but hopefully this week. To see Not wh- guaranteed. But. What's in a Rachel tracking week? Uh, Sherry wrote. Hey, Sherry. Uh, what you need to do is leave your car and log on this back to our car thing. Wrap up your trash in some boxes and then let them steal that and take it home. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yes, I need to like gift wrap it. We told Caleb that like, hey, like I need to do what you guys suggest and just not lock our car. This way they don't break our window. He's like, that is the stupidest idea. Like, why would you do that? And I'm like, do you know how much it costs to replace a window when they break your window? He doesn't know. He's a, <laughs> he's a baby man. They don't know. Um... Teal Elliott wrote, my husband used to drive a bare bones truck, a standard transmission with no AC, no stereo, no personal items left in the cab. Smart. One night, a thief picked our street to break into several vehicles. One of our neighbors was missing a piece of la-di-da stereo equipment. The thief left it in my hubby's truck. As if he was saying, dude, get something worth stealing. Wow. We were as, we were as happy to return it to the owner as he was to get it back. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious though. Like it looks like you got you need something. The only thing worse than that would be actually a thief leaving like a note in your car going, You have nothing worth stealing. It's like Robin Hood. This guy stole from the the rich is what he's thinking. I don't know. Uh Sylvia wrote again. Hello again, uh, Congratulations on 3,000 subscribers. This is fantastic. Yeah, I like beef, but it needs to have add-ons to make it more interesting and yummy. Thank yeah. you for another great video. Show about the beef and butter challenge. We love you, Celia. Oh, my goodness. Thank you guys so much for making 3,000 subscribers possible. Yep. And now we're like 300 away we're, from 4,000. Yes, almost 200. Amazing. Uh, doll, I wrote. Hey, doll. Uh, this saved me from buying, from trying the beef and butter fast. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it really comes down to, like Celia is saying, adding add-ons. Yeah. Like I love beef, but I also like beef with avocado or beef with cream cheese. I like beef with like all kind, like tomato sauce in it. You know, I like beef and. For yeah, and for me again, it wasn't the beef. It was the ground beef, and I love ground beef, but I usually ground like mix my ground beef with something. Now, if you said to me brisket every day, no problem. We're on board. I have no problem with that. But uh, like beef and eggs. Right. Yeah. It was just weird. Yep. Cheryl wrote. Hey, Cheryl. I personally have not had much success with a beef and butter fast. I have had much more success with a bacon and eggs fast. I know. I really enjoyed the eggs fast, even though I know you, you should leave a link for that because the eggs fast, I know you hated and again the reason i hated it i don't do well with you can only eat this one thing i still think it was better than the beef thing <laughs> so vivijay wrote hello again Vivijay. i've thought about blending both egg and beef for an egg and beef fast since i love fried eggs on my burgers so do i um i had one tonight in fact I might add cheese as well. Maybe bacon. <laughs> All right. Going a bit too far off course now. Now it sounds like that. What was that? That's the, the perfect fast. Basically a bacon, egg, and cheeseburger fast. No one's going to be upset by that. But that reminds me of that video that he had posted, Vivijay, of the fatso, that 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 clip where it was like, just add a little bit more a little and bit more. more. Add a little bit more. Started out with just water, and then all of a sudden you've gone to like all of these things. Actually, congratulations to Vivijay who had a, a, a big time scale victory. Yeah. Finally got down into the 160s, uh, I believe, yeah. and was challenging you to like get down your next tier. We're working on it. I'll work on it. I'm enjoying food too much right now. <laughs> Plus, I'm anticipating the fact that we're getting ready to start a long, like, challenge slash cut slash protocol. And uh, more on that coming soon. But 
like, yeah, in anticipation of that, I'm like, I'm not doing anything to try to lose any weight because I know I'm going to be cutting calories every week for several weeks. So you're doing like the bear hibernation thing? Yes, that's what I'm doing. I'll go with that. Kathleen wrote, hey, Kathleen. Beef and butter isn't for everyone, just like the egg fast isn't. I do well with the beef and butter and the eggs I can't do. Well, there you go. Yeah. I love that. I, and that's something great is that there's something for everybody. Right. I love and that. And again, there's no magic to beef and butter. There's no magic to an egg fast. No. There's not like, oh my gosh, like going on an egg fast, like eggs are eating only eggs are going to make you magically lose weight. What does a beef and butter fast do? What does an egg fast do? It refocuses you and it takes everything else out of your diet. So if you're trying to figure out like, hey, what's going on? If you're eliminating everything except for beef and butter or everything except for eggs, there's no other obstacles in you. Like, yeah. so now you don't have to worry like, well, am I eating too much erythritol? All it is is a refocus on you. Yeah. And then you can slowly start adding things back in. But there's no magic to only eating beef and butter. There's no magic to only eating eggs. Just like, I mean, you could do like a coconut oil fast and eat nothing but coconut oil for a week. It's just something that like recenters you. It's not you that you're going to lose a bunch of weight. To get back on track. You know, if, if you eat too many eggs, if you eat too much beef, if you eat too much coconut oil, you're going to gain weight. You still have to track your macros. Yep. Um, uh, my sister wrote, I agree, Terry. ground beef needs something to spice it up. I love your shirts, by the way. Yes, Thermostat Police is definitely Joe. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Like, thank you again. Yes, we've been enjoying those shirts so much. I love... I can't wait. I still haven't worn my avocado shirt yet. That's coming next week, but I'm excited. I love it. Thank you, Tim Card... 10 Carb Kim. Uh, last one. Christina in Michigan wrote... Hey, Christina. I tried the beef and butter fast last week, and it literally made <laughs> me sick. Uh-oh. I just watched what I ate, and I lost five pounds. I was very happy. I might try the egg fast. I love liver, liver worst and beef tongue. Oh, Christina. I've never tried heart. Slow cooked liver in a heavy whipping cream gravy sounds so good with a few onions or fry the liver with pork rinds and then simmer it in a keto gravy. That might be on the menu soon. I will have to look into some keto gravies. Can I send some pictures even if the weight loss isn't on keto, oh, but it please. is low carb? Yeah. It has been a 10 year journey for me and I am down more than 44 pounds. I, I am down to 44 more pounds to go, but I do low carb lazy keto right now. I live with my son's family and oh my goodness, the junk in this house makes it so hard for me, but I push on every day with slip ups and then jump right back on. I've tried to stop beating myself up when I do have a carb party. It is very hard. I just love you guys. Well, Christina, we love you too. And don't be hard on my friend Christina because I love her. All right? <laughs> so, like, I'm very proud of you. Like, you're you're awesome. So, yes, share any pictures that you have. We love getting yep. to see different things. And I think you may be Joe's soulmate because, like, I'm definitely not the liver and liver worst <laughs> like compatibility partner for him liver is not my favorite i eat liver because it's good for you there's a lot of healthy nutrients in liver liver worst i love but again i'm german i grew up eating liver worst it was like but meanwhile i wouldn't i couldn't i hated tuna fish yeah so it was like you have your choice liver worst or tuna fish i'll take liver worst thank you very much i will take tuna fish yeah no <laughs> Well, that is the last comment for this week's Keto on the Couch. If you guys have any questions or comments, do us a favor. Leave them down in the comment section, and we will read them on next week's Keto on the Couch. And if you have some uh, transformations or not even non-scale victories yes. that you want to share, we would love to read them and see them and yeah, share please, them. Um, the best place to share your stories uh, for our subscriber of the week is in our Facebook family group. It's free. Uh, yep, I'll leave a link down below. You can also go over and send us a private message on Instagram. Yeah. Okay, our Instagram is Two Crazy Ketos. I did want to add in one thing, guys. Um, we tend to not see messages if on Facebook. Yeah. So if you send, don't send that. If you want to private message us or if you have something you just want to say to us privately, either DM us on Instagram. Yep. Or send us an email at twocrazyketos at gmail.com. But the ones on the Facebook Messenger, like we don't always catch we them. We don't always catch them, or if we do catch them, it's a week or two weeks later. And we don't want to miss them. And also, like the Facebook Messenger is set up through Rachel's Facebook, so like if she doesn't get on it, like I and I do get on, I no, usually won't see them. Yeah. So it's just best to DM us on Instagram or with our email. 
We love you guys so much, and we just hope that you have an awesome, awesome week. Yep. If you like what you saw today, do us a favor. Hit the like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.